In this open call, we ask for submissions around product innovation that have been created around COVID-19. And these are the ones we picked. As stated before, it's an editorial decision and not a judging competition. So thank you to all who submitted. Each will have four minutes to present. Please vote for your favorite after their presentation. So go to your polling to make your choice. Now let's begin. We like this first one because it addresses an urgent need for tech solutions that are safe and that will boost customer confidence and allows operators to get back in business in a safe and measured way. We also like the fact that it's an established company, but took the opportunity in April 2020 to create two products specifically for the times we are living in. The company is Illinium Automation. Please welcome Ilya Gutlin. Thank you, Vera. So let, let's go to slide two. One more, please. So let me play the video and let Etihad, uh, one of our Keystone uh, partners, talk about our solution while I present Elenium. Elenium is a five-year-old uh, company out of Melbourne, Australia. Our main focus is to improve the passenger experience through innovation for all the stakeholders at the airport. Our portfolio includes kiosks, gates, backdrops, as well as a multi-airline platform and white label applications, everything that you need for proper common use experience. Aviation was our focus. Customer experience, TCO, operational excellence. Until six months ago, when we pivot, no, we didn't pivot, and I'll explain to you why, but we had to drastically change our speed and change our direction. The world stopped flying and we had to grow. So we built on the know-how around sensors and around touchless technology in order to create a vital sign detection kiosk able to check for temperature, heart and respiratory rates in a few seconds. It is so good that we're currently um, certifying it to become a medical grade device. Let me finish the video and I'll move to the next slide. So next slide, please. Next slide. So our approach is multi-touch, uh, multi-channel touchless. What does that mean? The client can choose between voice and movement detection. Biometric identification is a, a key feature of the solution and our multi-language application is so easy that staff at two meat work facilities in Australia took literally no time to pick it up and be able to use it in seconds. And fortunately, no animals uh, had any harm done to them during that process. Our voice solution works in loud environments. It's specifically designed for loud environments and designed for airports. It currently works in hospitals, core infrastructure and um, other facilities primarily as access control. Next slide, please. So why did we go for three vital signs instead of checking for temperature alone? One number, your ability to check for an unwell individual goes up by 50% when you've got three vital signs instead of temperature only. And our one-to-one -one high resolution approach allows us to catch, uh, to identify unwell individuals, something that mass screening devices really fail at. Uh, in, in some of the tests that we've seen. Next slide. All of our tech fits into what we call the Elenium Center Array. It's able to work on our units, our kiosks, backdrops, podiums, desktops, as well as be integrated into third party devices as well. So we're, we're happy to work with vending machines, beverage dispensing machines, even ATMs uh, for that matter 
and we're able to, when Vera mentioned two products, we're able to have vital, uh, vital sign detection in a touchless way, and we're able to also have a touchless, uh, touchless device on, on its own. So we're able to make devices touchless on their own. And this, if you think about it, extends the life of the present self-service infrastructure that's in a number of airports or in all the airports globally right now. Next slide. Next slide. So it's a brand new product. Uh, we had a concept in March. We had a prototype in May. We shipped dozens of devices in uh, June, and we are we've shipped well over a hundred devices already. Um, so we're shipping it all over the world. We've we've got it working on all the continents right now, and they're working as I mentioned before in airports hospitals, critical infrastructure facilities, and factories as well. Seconds, our, goal, our goal is to help the aviation industry cover and reassure passengers while ensuring that everyone stays safe and we have a seamless, swift and uh, uh, the airport, uh, seamless and swift process and the airports are operating at a maximum efficiency. Thank you. Thank you, Ilya. The next story is one that's been talked about in hospitality for a while, but COVID-19 has accelerated it, a contactless customer journey. We like the all-in approach that was taken by this hotel group in Singapore, and it has the potential to be adopted by other hotels, which may not have the capabilities to develop their own, a product made by hoteliers for hoteliers. Here's Amit Diskoki, Director of IT and Innovation, Raffles City Hotels, to share their story. Hello everyone, thank you so much for having me today. Um, uh, today I'm going to discuss with you about um, the hot topic of uh, contactless solutions. Uh, can we go to the next page please? Next. We focus on our guest journey and uh, we uh, actually thinking about uh, all kind of contactless projects. So we are focused on uh, when the guests decide to uh, come to our hotels or even think to come to a specific country while we are talking right now about Singapore. So from the moment the guests start thinking to uh, plan to come to the hotel, how we make all their process very simple and easy to use. On the same time, while we have a lot of mobile application being installed, the get, we found out that the guests get resistance to download such mobile apps. So we have decided to make the, the journey very simplest and also through web, not using any more mobile apps. So we we're talking first about the mobile check-in. Now we are actually reached to uh, the check-in from five minutes to become exactly 10 seconds or less. Also interfacing with uh, PMS, uh, having all the security and the requirement from the government, such as a passport, verifications, also uh, upgrades, uh, room upgrade, increasing revenue, and all on the guest phone. So that's actually going to change or doing significant change for uh, the, the check-in process and hospitality in general. This is being used on multiple hotels from top luxury hotels to mid-scale to economy hotels. Also, we didn't only focus on the uh, check-in, but also what about the guests inside the hotel when they are staying in the guest room. So we are trying to reduce branding, we are trying to reduce touching, and also, again, we are focusing on how to make it simple and without asking the guests to download any more apps or hassle of doing this. So we have from A to Z requests from the guest side inside the room, either, either ordering food, uh, requesting uh, any uh, surface like uh, uh, what we can call it, uh, bathroom, uh, amenities, whatever they want, they can find it on their phone, which means in this case, as a hoteliers, we have reduced a lot on terms of the hardware, since if we're going to have any kind of tablets and we're going to provide it, this is also we're going to increase the Quebec. Moving forward also for the restaurant, same thing, it's still just scan the QR code, you can have the menu and it make our colleagues right now focus more to serve the guests for all the requirement. Last but not least, we are talking about the meeting rooms. Also, we have the options of making everything simplest 
by knowing the most common request, either like the guest if they have AC issue, extra chair, plus also if they want to have live chat with our colleagues. By doing all of the previous or the four uh, systems, it's increased the productivity as I'm going to show in the next page. Next, please. So why? We are, as I said, we are focused on the guest journey, and here we cover the reservation, arrival uh, in room, uh, spa, and also check out. All of this, it's actually in one package, and this is part of our innovations uh, and uh, leading the initiative on, on Singapore, uh, in line with uh, Singapore government strategy, and also uh, with uh, in line with what after COVID-19. Uh, next, please. How? Very simple, try and error, 15 months of research, teamwork, and decision making, and also focus on information security. Last page, please. This is the most important result I want to show you. This is real result, is that the check-in drop from uh, four to five to six second, check out is actually dropped to 10 seconds. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amit. For the next entry, we like this next entry because it created in rapid speed to address concerns of local travelers in local places. So it addresses this whole current trend of localization of travel. And post COVID, when we get there, we imagine by then it would have amassed even richer, deeper content to facilitate the fanning out of travelers, which was a problem tourism was trying to address pre COVID anyway. Please welcome Kenny G. Samitu, CTO Veltra, to tell us about its real-time destination dashboard, Kite. Hi, yeah, I'd like to introduce Veltra Kite, uh, the creation information site in the time of COVID-19. Uh, first of all, what is Veltra Kite? The travel information service Veltra Kite empower users with accurate and up-to-date information on local conditions. This information is provided by a travel professional and is particularly valuable to travelers in this era of COVID-19. Uh, the KITE dashboard was released on May 29th with the objective of delivering the real now of local area in partnership with activity operators and the guide around the world as the information dissemination service. Next slide, please. Next, please. Why Kite? Kite was inspired by a desire to contribute to our partners who are suffering from COVID-19. Travelers is in need of accurate and up-to-date information on travel destination. Are now connected with partners who are able to deliver real-time conditions. We also noticed that the information reported in the news was all about the number of people infected with COVID-19 and the status of medical institutions. However, there was no curated information uh, source that deliver other relevant condition by region. With the mission of delivering collect local now and spreading the new standard of travel that coexists with COVID-19, we have developed a service to convey live information for each region in real time. And how does Kite work is, we collect information from local tour guide and the professionals who are our trusted partners located around the world. Biltrar has built up this relationship since the establish its establishment in 2004. They post daily live information with local photos, such as the state of local city and the situation of tourist destinations, etc. In addition, the posts include official posts from government tourism offices of several countries. We support multiple languages because of the local information is useful information, not only for Japanese people, but also people all over the world. And uh, as a function currently being planned, we plan to post information on immigration and the regulatory safety in each country. That is useful for reference before travel and when staying at the destination. Next slide, please. In a short period of time, 
the number of information providing partner has exceeded 120. The information posting area has reached 50, and the total number of post articles has exceeded 1,700, and is still growing. And thank you very much. Thank you, Kenichi. Last but not least, we wanted to throw this one into the mix because it's not just about technology, but it's also about passion for what she does and the city she loves and how she used tech as an enabler to channel that energy at a time when she couldn't do it physically. And we feel that even when she can do it physically again, this innovation allows her to scale her business without losing personality. But here she is to tell the story herself. Heather Gartside, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful woman. Hello, everybody. Um, thank you so much for inviting me on this uh, fantastic conference. So, WWW Copenhagen, that's my little business. Uh, I've been working as a very successful tour guide in Copenhagen for the past seven years, but we all know what happened this year. Next slide, please. That's me and earlier in the summer. So I'm the founder. I also um, designed the, all the content for the, the app. Um, but that, that didn't happen until uh, the beginning of this epidemic. Um, ne next slide, please. We all know this. I think we're so tired of this. So next slide, please. The show really must go on. So I decided to be proactive. Uh, I think in March, in December, I found myself uh, quite freaked out. I dug my garden up, planted vegetables, cherished my children. But as time went by, I realized that um, I love my job. I'm very good at it and the tourists will come back. So I decided, even though I can't physically go out in the city and be with tourists because of social distancing, an app could do it. Um, younger people, everything is on apps. So, so why, why tire myself out with my walking tours? Um, put all my, the magic that I put into my um, tours onto the app, be it through uh, audio, which I recorded, video footage, music. I didn't sing, but uh, there is music on there. It's almost like a, a revolving stage going around the city and each of the famous places in beautiful Copenhagen, they're like uh, the film sets. Uh, you can also take the app tour at home. Uh, what I realized was that people are locked down. They can't come here, hopefully next spring. Uh, we did have quite a few, uh, next next um, slide please. Uh, we did have quite a few uh, staycationers this summer. Um, and also people, particularly in the United States, who have taken the tour from their armchairs. The WW walks app was launched in july 2020 i i produced it very rapidly it's available in the app store google play uh you can read the rest free free to um, download but then you have to pay for the uh, the first tour i'm making more tours as i go along and i'm getting a lot of great uh, press coverage which uh, one recent one in the copenhagen post mentioned that i was the perfect ambassador for the beautiful city of copenhagen which is very nice next slide please and this is where you can find me uh, the website is www.copenhagen.com facebook and instagram www.copenhagen and email heather at www.copenhagen.com. You can also find my authentic, original walking tours on Airbnb Experiences, TripAdvisor, Tour HQ, all under the name of Wonderful, Wonderful Walks in Copenhagen. And my latest thing, along with the app, is working with a small startup company called Virtual Trips, who are doing fantastic streamed courses uh, uh, experiences from Copenhagen, not using Zoom or Skype or anything. And the Asia will be coming in on the timescale on the 17th of October. Next slide, please.
please. Next slide. Last slide. And there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. I do hope you can all come back to visit me. But meanwhile, this app is a fantastic alternative uh, to, to bring the world to realize what a great, fresh, clean, sustainable and beautiful city this is. So thank you very much, everybody. And I wish you all a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much, Heather. So now we've heard from our first group of uh, product innovators and the poll has been active and from how it looks right now, Alinium has taken the lead as the most popular um, product innovation. Um,